hey there welcome back to coding stuff and this is tutorial playlist of json and apis so even if you are android developer or web developer json is the thing that you must know so most of these big companies are uh, they create single backend and they fetch the data using apis in their android app or ios app or website so before start to work on the apis we'll first understand the json so json stands for javascript object notation and you don't need to learn javascript for understanding the json it's really simple and json is data format which is widely used to communicate between our app and the server and it is lightweight as well so first of all i will just show you a little example of json so this is one json object and inside that we have the name as a key and the value is harry so this is a key value pair we have surname as a key and porter as a value and age is also key and 15 is integer value this this is the string value harry and porter and we have another example in this example we have first uh, the big object so anything that is coming like this open curly braces and inside that we have the values object so the most probably that is going to json so in this uh, json object what we have we have the student array as you can see square brackets and inside that we have one object at zeroth position and it has some values daniel email and the age as you can see and we have another object at one position and this is at second position and third position so this is the array inside the json object so we'll learn all of this later this is really simple i just wanted to show you one example of json so let me just uh, close the subline and in our android i have created one empty project first of all we'll require one dependency to work with json so we'll just open google chrome and we'll search for json so json is google's official uh, library so we'll just copy the dependency copy it and we'll paste it in over here hit sync now okay so first of all we'll create object of json so json and we'll name it as a json first new json and we'll create one model class so hit on your package name new java class and we'll name it as let's say student and inside this class we'll have string and this will be name private string and this will be email and then we'll have the age and we'll create one constructor so right click and hit on generate hit on constructor select all of these hit ok and in main activity what we'll do we'll first create instant of a student class student student equals to new student and we'll pass some data so the name will be harry and the email will be come and will pass the age as a 16 so this will pass the data in our model class now what we'll do we'll create one string and we'll name it as a json and then we'll use this json object dot to json and we'll pass in this student so we are converting this student object to json so that means it is serialization let me just write it over here as a comment okay so when we convert object to json it is serialization and when we convert json to object that is deserialization we we'll learn both in this video and then we'll just uh, display this on our log cat let me just create here log so log t and this will be happy now 
So instead of passing this on create message, we'll pass this JSON and we'll apply debugger here and we'll just hit on this debug button. So it is installed and our debugger is here. It has converted our student object to JSON as you can see here. So this is the JSON value. Let me just copy this. Copy value and I'll open sublime. Let me just uh, delete this and hit OK. So this is what we got here. Okay and this should be over here. Okay. So we have converted our student object to JSON. Let me just minimize this. But in student, as you can see, name was at the top and then email and then age. But here you can see the age is at the top and so these are not in the proper order. So the reason behind this is these are not arrays. They don't have index like 0, 1, 2. These are key value pairs. As you know, age is the key and 16 is its value. So whenever you need to get the information, you always point to the key and regardless at what position that key is we are going to get the correct information okay so if we call the age we'll get 16 we'll understand all these later so let me just minimize this and now we have successfully serialized our json so now what i will do i'll just comment on this so control slash so what we'll do we'll create one string as a data and here just put to double inverted and then semicolon and here we'll just paste that json value so as you can see it has added the backslash to avoid the confusion and what we'll do we'll just create one student object so student and let me write it as student and this will be equals to json dot from json so we are deserializing let me just uh, write it here as a comment okay and inside this we need to pass the string value that is json value that is our data and then we need to pass the class so student dot class and then put semicolon and over here we'll just pass this student and we'll write dot to string okay so let me put debugger over here and i will hit on this debug button so in here as you can see this is the data that we have and it has created one student object and inside that you can see we have age as a 16 email and name so we have successfully deserialized this json and you don't have to worry about this shadow class and monitor okay so so this was the first video so i have just explained what is json and how it works using the json library so we have successfully learned how to serialize uh, json and how to deserialize it in the next video we'll see uh, we'll create object inside the object in json and also we'll understand how to put array inside the object so that's it for this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching